the last weekend of the season with a swimming gala and fancy dress competition. For cleaning contract manager Nick, a new venture, turning his delivery vehicle into a wedding car. But while his attention's elsewhere, his cleaners are planning a takeover. And I want you to think about it before you make a decision. Never one to be ignored, park owner Colin pops up uninvited at a secret staff meeting. To mark the end of the caravan season, park owner Colin Saunders has drafted in a piper to rouse the residents. It's all part of his obsession with making Fox Hunter the classiest park around. Anyway, the caravan site awards are coming up and Colin would love to win. Just one Hello. finishing touch eludes him. He oh, dreams of filling the park's aviary with yellow budgies. But so far, Ali, the local pet That's shop owner, has failed to track them down. Come on. Hey. Oh, dear. Okay. That's the one that came over the other day, was yes. it? You brought over to the park? Yes, yes. Yeah, those ones. Um, I just popped over to see if we've got any yellow budgies. The yellow budgie, I'm going at 1 o'clock to collect some yellow budgie for you. Some oh, yeah. Yes. Prize winning budgies. Yes. Prize winning yes. budgies. You want different color, looting no, like this? No, no, just, just no. yellow. Yellow. One. All yellow. Fair must enough, be. All yellow. Yes. Because um, that will be spectacular. Yes. Won't it? Yes. Spectacular. As the Pied Piper of Ramsgate rounds up the children, some holidaymakers are far from happy. First, they had a wallet stolen, now their caravan isn't up to scratch. It's the end of the season, and Colin's patience is wearing thin. We came here because it was the best caravan park, we were told. To You're right. Information. You're right there. Okay. Now, we arrive in a caravan where the shower's totally broken, the telly isn't, is broken, the blankets, the children couldn't sleep properly because they smelt so much, there was so much dust, one of us... Now, I'm not right. too sure about this because I don't know, but I think they're all brand new blankets, but I... I no, they're not I, brand new at all. Aren't they? Stay I don't handle the, the hiring, so... Yeah. I'll have to get someone to come down and see about that. So I don't know anything about the hiring. I don't. I don't. Uh, yeah. We're just quite in shock, and we'd like you to either put us in somewhere that's very nice or compensate us. Why should we pay a full amount for all those things in one day? Happen? Yes, we will. We will sort that out for you when, when I, I'll get my daughter when she comes. She'll be down tonight, and she she looks after the hire side. Come with me. Oh crap. There's trouble ahead for cleaning contract manager Nick. He sacked Sandy, one of his best cleaners, for trying to pinch the cleaning contract. Hello, 82408. But right now, his mind's full of bells. Wedding bells. Oh, what, for the wedding car? Oh, right. Oh, you're getting married. Oh, lovely. <laughs> First time, is it? <laughs> oh, right. What? How are you? All oh, right. Um, do you want me to tell you a little bit about the service that we do? Uh, what we do, we've got, um, in the back of the rolls, we've got white roses, uh, the Diana Rose and white lilies in the back of the car. Comes with a white ribbon on and the chauffeur. To lose one cleaner is a misfortune. To lose two is downright carelessness. What happened then since we last saw you? Well, as you know, I've now left Fox Hunter. Um, I felt after what had happened with Sandy um, and she was in no way fully responsible, I was equally to blame, that I had no alternative but to leave Nick. Um, I couldn't let her take full responsibility for something I was equally guilty of. How was Nick about your decision? Um, I would say he was put out, obviously, you know, to lose Sandy and myself at the same time was probably a little bit more than he could actually accept. Not sounding big-headed, but obviously Sandy and I were there most of the time. We knew how to run everything. We knew how to look after everything. So I think, yeah, he was probably put out slightly by it. Hello, it's Colin Saunders here, the Fox Hunter Park. Um, we've got some uh, residents here, some uh, holiday makers, and uh, last night, and they had... Um, their the wallet stolen. In, in the, they, they left some luggage in the club, and when they came back, the wallet had gone. 
and they haven't reported it to the police. They didn't want to report it to the police, but they're now leaving. They're, they're, uh, and I no. insist that they do actually have the No, excuse me, you're just, incorrect. Just, just, just a minute. Hang on, they're interrupted. Just wait a moment. Yeah, excuse so, me, you said something incorrect. Oh, just a minute. Hang on. Let me, let, 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 I'll, let, I'll, you speak to them. I'll okay. leave you there. We didn't say we weren't. We were unwilling. You said we were unwilling. To speak. We were. Can you speak to? We're totally willing. We just report it to all your people first. Not unwilling at all. Goodness me. Yes, I did. Yes. Totally willing to do everything correctly. Hi. Colin normally prefers to leave this kind of customer care to his daughter Jane, but she's gone fishing, trying to rescue a runaway boat cover. I think I'm going to be a gardener to do it, actually. It's not quite long enough, is it? No, it's not quite long enough. We'd like, we'd like a refund and we'd like to go off site and find somewhere nice because I don't want to go through what we went through yesterday. Yeah, you want the money refunded? Yes, and we'd like to leave. Yeah. Okay. Morris. Couldn't have money back and forth, would you? Yeah. Thank you. How much? You won't laugh if I fall in, will you? <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> She's beginning to wish she hadn't worn her best suit today. Another satisfied okay. customer. You You're welcome. <coughs> I do feel that, you know, some people, they um, have justified moans and, um, about some things and some people don't. I think this is not justified. We gave them their money back without question. First of all, we don't want a satisfied customer. Secondly is that um, if they, if they uh, think that they're justified in taking them, they've got a, a clear conscience of taking the money back, let them have their money back. I mean, two or three hundred pounds is not the end of the world to us. And, uh, and we will, we will hope they don't come back. Today is Nick's first day as a wedding chauffeur. He's determined to look his best. A bit of gel on me here. Get rid of the grey hairs. No, not really. <laughs> The Saturday night for you, Jim. I don't know. The entertainment committee is planning a magnificent finale to the season. They don't want Colin okay. to interfere. Thanks for all coming. So Jane's and called a secret meeting by the pool. But nothing secret from Colin no, for long. He yeah. hates being left out. This time, I know as every year they're going to make a real effort and there's going to be some really good entrants. Yeah. We've bought some really super prizes, haven't we, Mum? Yes, yes. We, we bought um, a real karaoke machine for the over fives and we've got um, um, a Teletubbies desk and stall for the first prize, electric guitar, um, uh, we've got a, a little dog you can take for a walk, some walkie-talkies, a pool table, um, some really good prizes. And we're going to give them, every entrant, a, a T-shirt, OK? Um, and also maybe some sweets to go with it. Do you think, do you think yeah? So every, everybody that goes in for it will get something. We come to a, a stage when we're not sure um, whether to judge the under fives completely and get them out of the way because they get rather um, restless. restless. Yeah. I think it's good to have, um, do the under fives and then award them their prizes. They're coming out individually, aren't they? The, 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 one, the winner comes up and chooses which toy she wants, he or she wants, OK? So they, the winner gets the first choice and then um, the runners-up can come up and choose. But um, so the last one that gets, the last one to come up and choose, they still get a choice because they'll still have a choice out of two because we've got five prizes. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Da 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 da. Into the swimming pool. So Colin, why weren't you allowed at that meeting? Because they're a load of. You didn't recall that, did you? Hey, you didn't, you didn't get that, did you? 
No, because um, I don't know why. I think we ought to perhaps go and ask them, don't you? Let's go and ask them why I wasn't allowed in the meeting. I mean, after all, it's my camp, isn't it? Just a minute, you lot. Come back here. Listen, you've just had a meeting, haven't you? Hey, you've just had a meeting and you've left me out, didn't you? I was surprised at you, Debbie. I thought you were a nice girl. We saw you there. You just went, and you. Come here. Chef, would you like a coffee? You get the money now. Just a minute, coffee. I'm finished yet, Monica. Just a minute. What about the meeting, leaving me out? We hope you can buy some coffee. <laughs> we don't leave you out, Dad. <laughs> Coffee? Yes, please. Thank coffee? You, Dad. Would you like a coffee? Yeah, what about the meeting you left me out of? Um, you haven't voted me off the board, have you? No, eh? nothing like that. I'm still chairman of the board, I hope. Anyway, anyway, now, stand up there. You could be my backing group. We'll do a little number. Stand up there. Now, ready? One of those songs. Are you ready? One of those songs that we sing now and then. Now, one of those wonderful songs. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> That'd do the trick, wouldn't it? Eh? Get me clothes on, I'd be what? I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are going to chime. Pull out the stopper, let's have a whopper, but get me to the church on time. I got to be there in now. the morning. Spruced up and looking in me prime. Girls, come and kiss me, show how you'll miss me, but get me to the church on time. Uh, get the hat and the gloves, and uh, I think we're off to the bride then. If I am whistling, me out the door. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass and get me to the church on time. Hail and salute me, then fall off me with me and get me to the church, get me to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church. Lovely jubbly. <laughs>
what I'll do is I'll get you out first. Okay. Left, left here. Yeah. Nobody does it better. Nobody does it half as well as you know who. The final weekend. Superb. Swimming gala, fancy dress. You wait and see. Fantastic. What's your name? Eh? Tessa. Tessa? Cheshire. First? What? Daniel, what? Doran Kingsley. Dory? Laura. Laurie. Right, it's a minute to three, so we've got her here just right on time for three o'clock. And it's now two minutes past three and she's uh, gone in the church and she's well happy. She looks lovely. The five to six, the first is uh, Lily Miles. Well done, Lily. Come on, some applause, come on. The seven to eight, the first is Jack Legon. Where is he? There he is. Well done, Jack. Shake hands with him. Mojo, shake hands he, he, with him. He hasn't got a hand. Yes, he has. He's got he Gordon. Hasn't. That's all right. Yeah, next time, shake hands. Ladies and gentlemen. There we are. Look, take a photo. In take first photo. place. Make, look, big smile. Set a big smile. All right. Number happen? three, it's got to be, isn't it? How about that? Originality, lovely. Don't see Mr Saunders over there. Hey, how about this, eh? Hey? After the union of man and wife, the union of man and budgies. Well, we're very, very pleased, uh, Ali. You've got the right ones at last. Well, not at last, but the first ones were white. You see, and if you yes. want yellow budgies, you get white budgies. Um, they're, obviously, they're not right, are they? Mm. If you want white. Sorry. If, you, if you wanted white, you, but we didn't want a yellow. So let's put them in the in the cage, shall we? Yeah, I mean, look at Mr. Sandoz. This is. Um, this is, look at the size of them, and look at the, is all they came from very, very good breeders. They're five tick budgies. They are first class Lutina budgie. Five tick budgies. Okay. Right. Well, now that's the finish of that, so we'll uh, go back to the uh, fabulous fox hunters now and see what's happening there. Yeah, quite lovely. Colin's happy at last. He's got five tick budgies for his five tick park. Just hopefully soon they will go to the nest box and we will have plenty of chicks. We'll be able to start selling them back to you then, I think. Yes, you can do. I will buy them anytime. Oh, well, that'll be a, a, a yes. delight. A yes. delight, I'm sure. I will buy and, anytime. And, and at 12 pounds a piece, we, will, we, will, we will be well away. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's missing his two top cleaners, and his nightmare is about to get worse. Mark should have done this. He just dumped the f***ing blankets in here. The ex-cleaners think they could do a better job and have decided to go after the fox hunter contract for themselves. Yes, I'm wondering if I can speak to Mr Colin Saunders, please. 
Um, could I leave a message with you then, please? It's uh, Lynn Windsor of Sandlin's Valentine Services. I'd like to make an appointment with him, perhaps, for a meeting. Valeting Services. Thank you very much. Bye-bye now. Um, any news on next year's contract? No, haven't heard anything. So I'll let them ask me, and if they don't, I'm not bothered. Oh well, that's it. The end of another fabulous season. And what a season it's been. Quite wonderful. We didn't sell enough, but it wasn't too bad. And now, for a glass of champagne. And uh, now the end is near And so I face the final we'll drink to that, the end of the season, another good season. Everyone's enjoyed it. Friend, I've enjoyed it. I'll say it clear, My family's enjoyed it. I'll and here's the next season. But this season, the um, we've sold sort of a caravan to the mother of Tiffany on I EastEnders. We, we have sold a caravan to Bianca, she's got a caravan here. Lots of nice people here. Lots of people, lots of money, it seems. Great big flashy cars, they've all got better cars than me. We've had a nice time. We had the uh, Caribbean more, evening. Much more than this. The swimming gala and the, the, and the Budges. Budges are doing well. <laughs> the Dream Team, they, they did their best. They, they, were, they were nice guys, but uh, they, 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 they weren't really um, our cup of tea, really. But it's been a smooth season, we haven't had no problems. I've behaved myself nicely, haven't been rude to anyone, and, uh, and I've been a good little boy. Nick is proving to be not such a good little boy. And um, whether we have it next season or not, I don't know. We demand such high standards, so, and um, whether he'll come up to scratch next, next season or not, I don't know. And uh, Russell and Jane, they've done well, yes, as always, of course. And um, I think they will soon be ready to um, take over my mantle, <coughs> poor souls, and carry on the good work of Fabulous Fox Hunter. <laughs> you cut that bit out. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs>